hear the birds chirping in the background. Hey, Shalom, 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 Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming back at you. Uh, with another lesson, a little sit down. <coughs> Brother Ishiar to the left. Zariah. All right, we want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders. A, a great millstone taught us this truth, man. All right, uh, and, and shout out to you men out there uh, uh, pushing this truth, uh, fighting for that crown in these last days, man. All right, um, and I was inspired, you know, first and foremost by the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, to do this lesson on, um, you know, the truth ain't for everybody, man. All right, uh, and as you can see, uh, uh, you know, the reason it, it came up is because you see a lot of prophecy going on. And our people are, are dead, man. Our people are gone. They not gonna understand, man. All right. Uh, 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 I was talking to a, uh, you know, Edomite at work today, and uh, it's crazy how the spirit works, man. <laughs> you know how much y'all great. So uh, I'm talking to Edomite, and uh, um, he was telling me how, um, uh, you know, he, you know, the scriptures say that the Edomites are, uh, you know, the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. And the children of light are who? Uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native American Indians, man. All right. But you are in a, a, a deep darkness, man. All right. You can't understand the simplicity uh, of what we're saying, man. Ultimately, because the Lord wants to destroy you, man. All right. But I was talking to this Edomite, and he was just going on about um, what's going on in the world, right? Showing you that these, you know, these Edomites, they're prepared for what's to come. Meanwhile, you two-thirds, you finished, man. Scripture's already got you numbered to the sword, man. Or right, some of you going to die by death, uh, by the sword, famine, and pestilence, man. And some of y'all going to die by thermal nuclear fire, man. Thus said the Lord. All right, and these things are coming to pass, man. Whether you hear or forbear, man. And that's why we about to get right into it, uh, you know. Because everybody not going to receive this. Those who tune in, okay, those who's doing the work, these are the ones who are uh, ultimately predestined from the, uh, preordained from the foundations of the earth, okay, to come back and be reconciled with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and we believe we are of that number, okay? That's why we're doing the work. All right, you can start off with Matthew. Uh, yeah, start off with Matthew. Uh, this is Matthew <clears throat> chapter 6 and verse 6, and it reads. So, Oh, so like seven. Um, it's, well, so no, like you go to Matthew thirteen. By Matthew sure. thirteen. Yeah, well, okay. Sure. Matthew thirteen. Ten. So, come. It says Matthew thirteen and ten. It says, and the disciples came and said unto them, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right, because the Lord, when he was on the scene, he spoke in parables, man. All right, and our Lord's name is Yahweh Shah. And when we break that down to our people, they don't get it. Okay, we tell them that the letter J was uh, invented in 1524, right? You can Google it yourself, man. All right, Google it, okay? 1524 was when the uh, letter J was invented, okay? Keep going. It says, verse 11, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you. Right, it's given unto who? But he was talking to his disciples, man. 12 of them, okay? Keep going. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right, to them it is not given. Two-thirds of our people is not given unto them, man. Right? All right, keep going. It says, verse 12, For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and right. he shall have more abundance. Right, because the Lord is going to increase you if you're seeking to him, seeking him ten times more, like it says in Baruch, man. Right, this is why the Heavenly Father has called you back because He sees, He sees, He sees things in us, man. All right, He didn't wake us up for no reason. Okay, brothers got different portions of faith, brothers can, uh, different, like it says, and uh, I think that's first Corinthians, the 12th chapter, or Romans 12. It goes into like the different parts of the body. All right, everybody has their own function. Okay, everybody does, uh, you know, everybody has their own part. Okay, keep going. It says, but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Right. 
And uh, that's when a man not doing the work, okay? That uh, that talent that goes into that talent. The Lord, the servant that hid the talent. What did the Lord do to that? Uh, he, he called him a wicked servant, man. All right. What did he do? He ultimately took that talent from him and gave it to somebody else. Okay. Uh, keep going. It says verse thirteen. Therefore spake I to them in parables, because they seeing see not. Right. They don't. They they see right, but what? Uh, uh, they don't have a vision. Exactly. And what the scriptures say about that? Where there is no vision, the people perish, man. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, you read that again, Bob. Sure. It says uh, Matthew six and thirteen. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not. Right. And hearing they hear not. Right. They can, and what is that hearing? Hearing the words, man. Hearing the understanding of these parables, man. All right. Uh, uh, the Lord was given um, wise counsel, man. The Lord was talking, in, uh, talking. Uh, he was talking. Uh, how do you? you know, he's talking in slang, like you yeah. know. Yeah, he's talking in slang, man. Okay, well, what you would call modern day ebonics, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that's how the Lord talked, man. The Lord was a uh, uh, Lord wasn't some uh, 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 you know eloquent speaker. No, man. Okay, he might have been eloquent to the two thirds, but to uh, to his disciples, okay, he they understood it, man. Yeah. Keep going to it. Cause you got you got Jake that um they refer to their woman as, as they rib. Right. They're not actually meaning an actual rib that they eat. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Okay. Right. Actually, talk about a, a woman, you know, because what's closest to your heart, your your rib. Right. Okay. So right. when they refer to their right. woman, they refer to you know, they, when they say uh, rib, they refer to their woman. Right. So when the Lord was referring to you know certain things as like uh, wine or my flesh and everything like that, He was referring to the truth. Right. Okay. But the people who he didn't want to get it, uh, they didn't understand the parables. But the ones who was meant to get it, they understood. That's what uh, uh, what came to mind was, uh, you know, Jake liked to call his woman, that's my piece. You know, uh -huh. that's my piece. Uh, you know, even Samson, he said, who's been plowing with my heifer, man? Uh -huh. <laughs> right, right. So, God. you know, it's in our, it's in our, uh, it's our heritage to uh, speak in parables, man, to speak in uh, code, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You can keep going. Well, I got one. Read that again from the top of the show. Uh, it says Matthew uh, 13 and verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables because they seeing see not and hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand. Right. Because uh, uh, we warn our people about these prophecies coming to pass like famine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, more pestilence. Okay. E uh, about to come down with great wrath according to Revelation 12 and 12. Inflation. Re inflation, right, right. Uh, we tell you, uh, uh, you know, the stock market and the economy is gonna crash, and they're gonna bring in a digital dollar, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, and it's ultimately gonna lead to Revelation thirteen and sixteen, which is that charisma, okay, which is a implant, a subdermal device. Which uh, uh, look up subdermal, okay. Mm -hmm. Tiny technology, a grain of rice, which they're gonna implant in your in your right hand, in your forehead, okay. Uh, uh, Anywhere in your hands or in your head, man, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have to, uh, uh, in order to participate in society, you're gonna have to take that charisma, man. And we're warning the people, okay, but uh, it says they see, but they see not, right? Mm -hmm. They hear, but they hear not, okay? Why? Because the Lord has stripped them of understanding, right? So I'm gonna grab this. This is Luke. I mean Matthew chapter 16, verse two. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our people can discern uh, uh, if it's going to rain, if it's going to be sunny, hot, it's going to be a storm coming, or is a snow about to fall, right? And you have a shot. This is a red letter too. It says, and in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the times, man? All right, the Lord was uh, uh the Lord even called his disciples uh uh, uh faithless, man. All right, uh, uh, and how long he shall he bear with them, man? Mm -hmm. and that's how we feel about two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, some of Native American Indians, because according to uh, Ecclesiastes one, all right, Ecclesiastes the first chapter, all right. This is uh this thing becomes grievous after a while, man. All right, because ultimately the scriptures call you, the heavenly Father calls you a stiff neck and rebellious children, man. Mm -hmm. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiastes one and uh eighteen. 
It says, uh, uh, well, I'm going to start at 17. It says, and I gave my heart, which is your mind, right? It says to know wisdom, all right, and to know madness and folly. And that's what uh, that's what we're doing in this walk. We're understanding all things, right? We're coming in the stead of Yahweh Shah, who was King Solomon, right? We're uh, every everywhere we go in life, we take this understanding and we uh, 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 we get wisdom, okay? We get knowledge, okay? Mm -hmm. It says, uh, I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases in knowledge increases in sorrow, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and the ultimate, uh, 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 you know, when, when all hell breaks loose, when Jacob's trouble breaks loose, and, and you win troops is on the ground, sparing nobody, uh, uh, we, uh, you know, we're gonna have to bear with you two thirds, man, because we know how, the scriptures give us an insight on how you gonna get down, man. All right, we, you have been doing the same thing, from uh, uh, uh you know, since since the uh. Shit, since you were created, man. All right, Moses came down from the chariot, uh, uh, from the mountain, right? Got the got the commandments from your Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Came down, he seen you niggas worshiping the calf, man. All right, you niggas are wicked, and that's why the Lord has stripped you of your ears and your eyes to see these things coming to pass. What you got up? I got Ezekiel uh, three. You didn't think of this. Okay. Uh, Ezekiel 2 and uh, I'm going to start at verse 7 no so like I'm going to start at verse 6 this is Ezekiel 2 and 6 it says and thou son of man be not afraid of them neither be afraid of their words right right it says though briars and thorns be with thee and thou doest the well among scorpions right the Lord called you scorpions man and a scorpion is a a dangerous animal a dangerous insect or a whatever you know uh mm -hmm. Uh, arachnid, okay, yeah. uh, creature, okay. Yeah. It got that, it got that, um, that tail in the back. Let's right. talk about in Revelation. Right. Keep going. How powerful it is. It says, right. "Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house." Right. So we really not worried about you niggas, man. Yeah. Is that right? Because the Lord could kill one of you niggas without us even doing anything, man. Mm -hmm. What you was going to say, y'all? I was going to say when it said, be not afraid of their words, because, you know, you, you got Jake that always trying to make threats and stuff when they get offended, right. that they're going to do something. Right. We know all through reality that the Lord is, you know, going to protect us when we're doing this uh, work. Uh, verse 7, it says, And thou shalt speak my words unto them. Without... Right, his words, okay? Not ours, right? And you niggas buck up against it, okay? Keep going. It says, And Thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Right. For they are most rebellious. Most rebellious, man. Okay. Verse 8. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Right. So we're we not supposed to be like them, right? He's supposed to separate. That's what the word holy means. It means mm -hmm. separate. Okay. When we tell our people we're holy, they just think uh, uh, they get this mythological idea that uh you know you know we're just so clean and everything no our, our scriptures say our righteousness is as filthy rags man all right but what it says what, what it means by holy is our mind okay our mind is is holy it's separate from the world man or right? even the lord said what did he tell them uh the jews he said you are from beneath i am from above man you are of this world i am not of this world man that's how we are. We are, man. That's we following the study of Yahweh Shah, man. All these things written in this book is coming to pass, man. If you can't get the understanding of it, then it's not meant for you, and the Lord just want to destroy you, man. Period. Mm -hmm. It says, um, verse eight. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee: Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Right. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Right. And when I look, behold. 
and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein, lamentations, mourning, and woe. Right. And that's, that's what, what the, you know, go, Salaki, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, that's uh, what these, you know, scriptures uh, maintain of, uh, lamentations, mourning, and woe. Yeah, you have, you know, some miracles and, you know, faith boosters and everything like that, but you know, through the prophets and all, all these prophecies, a lot of, you know, mourning and limitation was going on throughout these scriptures. And the thing is, with our people, they don't even read the actual scriptures, you know. They just hear what these pastors tell them, you know, and they don't actually get the whole truth because they still got that veil, you know, covered on them. That's why they don't go into the New Testament. They only deal with the, uh, so like they don't deal with the Old Testament. They always want to read the New Testament and they'll probably read a couple scriptures here and there. Right? But they don't read nothing that's going to prepare them for the times that we're in now. And that's why they're going to be out there left out. Yup. Receiving judgment, man. Right? You think uh, <clears throat> you think uh, inflation is going to stop? Okay, just last week, gas by my house was 429 Now it's 479 All right? This thing isn't going to... It's not going to stop, man. All right? But we understand that it's not going to stop. Why? Because we got the spirit of truth, which is Yahweh Shah, man. All right? The world is in gross darkness, okay, according to Isaiah, I think it's the 60th chapter, gross darkness to people, man. People are in a, a dead state, man, all right? And mainly, the, you know, the scriptures is about the Negro, the, the Holy Scriptures deals with the Negroes, Latinos, the Seminole, Native American Indians, man. All right, uh, all you other nations that's included in the scriptures are just casualties of war, man. All right, you just, uh, 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 what is that? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, extras in the movie, man. Mm -hmm. All right, the Lord ain't dealing with none of you nations, man. All right, this is a thing he has going on against. The, you know, he has a controversy according to uh, uh, what is that? Hosea, Hosea four. Yeah, Hosea four. Right, he has a controversy, which is a a public dispute. Okay, and it's these prophecies that's coming to pass. This is a public dispute mm -hmm. for you Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native American Indians. Why? Because you uh, continue to disobey the Heavenly Father, all right? And you're dis disobeying him by what? Now, hearkening to his words that's being pushed out by the prophets, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, we know that everybody, even our parents have heard that they were Israelites, man. Okay, but the, he's not de dealing with that generation. He's dealing with the generation of right now, okay? Because mm -hmm. uh, what do you, how shall I say? He said, uh, uh, all, you can get that. I think it's in Matthew 24. Okay. This generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. Right? Okay. And the scriptures, I want to grab the scripture real quick. Go ahead. All right. This is uh, uh, Proverbs 14 and 7. It says, Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Right? And our people, they don't have the lips of knowledge, man. They can tell you about the wisdom of this world, but they can't give you the wisdom of the Heavenly Father, okay? And that's what's going to lead to salvation, not uh, how to uh, make money, okay? Even though money is a defense, but not how to, uh, 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 you know, become a millionaire, okay? Not how to, uh, you know, buy this and that, uh, how to get this, how to get this bitch, okay? How to... Uh, you know how to get it. You know, Jake. Jake does uh does not. He knows nothing. Okay, Jake knows nothing but how to do wickedness. Okay, the scriptures talk about that. Uh, uh, you know, to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, to do good is uh, uh to hearken unto the words of the heavenly Father, man. All right, but you won't, cause the Lord has a uh, the Lord is set out to judge two thirds of our people, man. All right, it's it's written, man. All right, they don't, they can't see what's going on out here, man. All right, and we have to bear with you niggas, man. All right, this is this is vexing, bro. This is vexing. Okay, people, uh, you know, your family wondering why you don't come around them as much. They, uh, you know, you tell them, you know, every time you go over there, you warn them, and they, they, uh, we don't want to hear that religious stuff, you know. <laughs> you uh, in the cult? Yeah, you in the cult? Okay, uh, uh just uh. You know, uh, uh, what does it say? Uh, you know, they have no understanding, man. They, 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 they uh, you know, they, 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 they uh, get that. Uh, uh, Matthew 7 and 6. You just went right back to oh, it. Yeah, the spirit. 
you know. Uh, Matthew 7 and 6, it says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Which is the knowledge of the scriptures, man. Okay. And the dogs represent our people. Okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native American Indians. Go ahead. It says, Neither cast ye your pearls before swine. And the swine is uh mainly Esau Edom. Okay. Because they filthy. Right, he's an abomination, man. Right? Thing. Right. You're not supposed to be going out there being all over righteous, okay, wearing your fringes in front of Edomites, man. Alright, that's off, man. Go ahead. It says, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rent you. Right, meaning they're going to take the scriptures and they're going uh, uh, to use it against you, man. All right? You know, they going to use That's our people, man. Mm -hmm. Having no knowledge of the Heavenly Father and His Word, man. <laughs> they got a zeal of uh, knowledge, but not according to the Heavenly Father. Yeah, they got a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Right, All right. Yeah, yeah. And they're taught by what? The precepts of man, mm -hmm. right? You still got people going to churches, right? Praising uh, JC. I don't even want to say the name, right? Because that name is not even to be mentioned, man. Mm -hmm. That name is a, 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 a name leads back to death, okay? Praying uh, uh, praying to JC, man. And our people believe, uh, you know, they believe JC was a, Edom, was a so called white man, okay? Deep down, in, deep down inside, they believe that, man. Come on. This, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Right. And, and that's talking about who? Who that talking about? Even our families. You know, you know, yeah, you respect you, you know, you honor your mother and your father. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you don't want to be over righteous, but it's a balance to it. You don't want to be all uh, uh all up under your family. No, man. All right, because their spirit will rub off on you, man. Keep going. It says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Right. And what communion have light with darkness? Right. And like you were saying in uh, Isaiah, how these people are a gross of, of, of darkness, man. They don't have no light within them. Um, it says, uh, verse 15, and what concord have Hamashiach with, Bel with Belial? For what part hath he that believeth with infidel? Right, and the infidel is an unbeliever, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we shouldn't be around nobody uh, that's an unbeliever, man. We supposed to be around who the brothers, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, those who are uh, who have the same thing in common as us, man. All right, uh, who's looking to seek salvation? Who's looking to get beamed up on them chariots? Okay, yes, the chariots uh, uh, are those uh, so-called UFOs and UAPs that you people. Uh, are worried about man. Mm -hmm. Brother seen brother seen a lot of them moving the other night, man. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, you know, you can't make this up. Man. The brother put it in the chat. It was one that came in, it was so close. Like and then it just mm. went away just like that. I was like, dang. And the people were screaming. It was like, oh. Right, right. Because the scriptures did say that uh they shall well before him mm -hmm. when he come back. Yep. But uh reading on in Second Corinthians chapter six, verse sixteen, it says in what agreement had the temple of the heavenly father with idols right and you people are where you people are uh, uh you idol worshipers man yeah, especially you, the northern kingdom man. yeah 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 you All worship jc yeah uh mary mary yeah. guadalupe uh, 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 uh and then you got uh you negroes man you worship all these entertainers man that's who you worship okay basketball players football players rappers okay uh you know and also who do they worship they worship Esau, Edom, the devil, man. Mm. Okay? So that's who you worship, man. Ye are of your father, the devil. Mm. Right? Ain't that what Yahweh Shah said? Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead. It says, For ye are the temple of the living power, as the heavenly father said. I dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Verse 17, it says, Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Right. So the, you you can't be received unless you you know you walk in the newness of life, man. And the newness of life is is going back to your your heritage, man. Right. And that's right. and that's written in these scriptures, man. These are holy scriptures. These are epistles that our forefathers have written, man. That the right. Lord put the Spirit on them to write to us, man. If someone give you a letter, it's it's for you. It's not for everyone else. Right? right, but people get stumbled on that, you know, that scripture John three sixteen, who saw the uh the uh the world, you know, the world scripture. Uh, right, I said my only begotten son in the world. Right, you know that scripture. But at the end but of the God day, God so loved the world, He gave us only begotten son. Ka, ka, ka. 
you know, just that's off, man. Yeah. You know, beautiful scripture, but it's misused, man. Yeah. Right. And that's what he, that's what you said earlier. They use what they use that scripture against you when you try to cat, you know. Right. Your pearls. They're not going into words, okay? They and then that's how they look at us when we go into the when you tell Jake I like to look at words. I like to look in the dictionary. Mm. He look at you like, who is this? You know, who this nigga think he is? Yeah. You know, no, because uh, the English work, the English language, it has been uh, misconstrued over time. Okay, mm-hmm. it uh, you know, the words uh, have original meanings to it, like the word gay. Mm-hmm. Gay used to mean happy. Okay, now they have misconstrued the word and turned it into something uh, completely abominable, man. All right, so now, and then with the English language, it's a bastard tongue. Okay, every time you speak the English language, what you're you're, uh, uh you're putting out spells, man. All right, this language is uh is 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 devilish, man. All right, and a lot of you niggas uh, this is why a lot of you niggas die, man. Cause uh, the scriptures say life and death are in the power of the tongue. So whatever you speaking, uh, you niggas uh, you're gonna reap, you re- you reap what you sow, man. Right, okay, you blaspheme the heavenly father in the scriptures, you go, uh, well, you know, two thirds can't blaspheme. But if you buck up against the heavenly father's only begotten son in these days of judgment, you go get that judgment, man. And the Lord is watching, man. Right. He's always watching, man. Right. right. That's the thing. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all worship this damn devil, you know, because he got all these cameras. He got, right. you know, his military. He got all these different things that just look fascinating. You know how he make these movies. He make everything look all good. Become reality, man. It's like the uh, the movie the uh, the Wizard of Oz, man. He looked all powerful and everything like that, but the whole time he was a little ass man hiding behind the curtains, man. Right. Wasn't putting in no action, but the Lord put he gonna put in some real action, man. When he come back, man. Right. But right now he gotta warn you because right. it ain't gonna be no excuse when he come back. You right. can't say that I didn't know this or I didn't hear this right. or I wasn't aware. Right. You know, right. it's no it's no it's not gonna be an excuse. Right. Right. No excuse. It says uh. Uh, well, you will have no cloak for your sins because we told you what sin was. Okay, we told you that eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster that's off. Mm-hmm. Being a mo that's off. Mm-hmm. Committing adultery that's going off. Okay, we warned you about that. Okay, but what did you do? Oh, uh, you said, uh, you know, man wrote that book, right? Okay, man wrote your math book, your science book, all books. Okay, mm-hmm. but who 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 wrote this book? Man inspired by the heavenly Father. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's man, okay. That's the man who wrote this book, man. And it wasn't a book; it was written on scroll. It was mm-hmm. it was written on the scroll. Mm-hmm. It was written on stones, okay. Not a book, man. And that's why you niggas gotta die, man. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You speak before you even look into things, man. You're not prudent, okay. And the Lord is only dealing with prudent men. Yeah. And they talk about you know it's it's written in this book, but if you. If you really into this book, you know that this book has so much order, man. And when you you look at the order that's written in this book, when you look at the world, it don't match up. Right. And that's why you got everything is out of order. You know, you got your women out of order, man. You right. got uh, you got people want to eat, you know, seafood, uh, <laughs> roaches and shit. Right. Man. Right. Right. You know, you got our men that want to get lineups and don't want to be a you know a father to they uh to they sons, man. We just all through as, as a nation, man. Because okay. oh, so like, go ahead. Go, no, finish up. Go ahead. What I was gonna say is, is that like uh, us as a people, you know, Jerusalem was a people before it was a place, man. So us as a people, we're a reflection of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So that's why the Lord looking at us with disgust, man, and mainly you two thirds, man. Right. We all fall short of the glory, but at the end of the day, his ways are simple, man. Right. And we're just supposed to follow his ways. Spirit. It's that it's not hard. That's the spirit. Oh, you got that? Oh, yeah. Kind yeah, of. I was about to grab that. Go ahead. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, this is Sarat, uh, 39 and 24. It says, as his ways are plain unto the holy. Right, which is uh, the man out here doing this work, pushing his word in sincerity and truth, man. All right. Go ahead. It says, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. <laughs> right, a stumbling block, man. I want to look that word up, man. Come on. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he was a stumbling block to uh to his own people, right? Even when he was uh, first born, right? Because our people think that, you know, the law is done away with. But if the law is done away with, why did it say in Jeremiah 31 and 31 that he would put the law in our inward parts? Okay? Right. Right. Without this law, there's no order. There's not going to be no structure or the, or the laws for the land, okay? And you don't think that the kingdom of, of heaven is not going to have any laws, man? Right. 
right? It says a stumbling block, right? <clears throat> it says an impediment to belief or understanding, man. Mm. All right, you no, know, that word impediment means a, a a hindrance, a hindrance or obstruction. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, read that again. It says uh, Sirach thirty nine and twenty four. As his ways are plain unto the holy. Right, and it's plain to us, man. We see it uh, uh, Habakkuk 2, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you know, these things are, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's plain, okay? Mm -hmm. That he may run that readeth it, right? We got the understanding of the scriptures, the word of God, but you know, shut up, man. All right, keep going. It says, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Right, the ways of Yahweh but you know, are stumbling blocks mm -hmm. to the ways of the wicked, man. All right, the Lord has set up, uh, going back to Matthew, the 13th chapter, okay, eyes that they shall not see and ears that they shall not hear, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and that was prophesied to happen back in, uh, I think that's uh, Isaiah, the 6th chapter, okay? Mm -hmm. But now it's uh, it's even worse, man. It tells you in the book of 2 Corinthians 4 that uh, evil shall increase, okay? Uh, more confusion shall increase in, in, in uh, 2 Corinthians 16th chapter. So uh, our people are just going to wax worse and worse and worse, man. And as time progresses, uh, they're going to come for the prophets, man. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as these things, as the prophecy continues to uh, uh, go on, they're going to come for the prophets, and we know that, man. All right, we know some of us is going, uh, our parents and our family are going to give us up to Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, and we know that some of our friend, our so-called friends in the world, is going to come up against us for food. Okay, for water, for shelter. Okay, all of that, man. All right, and the Lord gonna tip, He gonna protect us, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we believe that, man, and we look crazy when we say that, man. Yeah. All right, but who, who, so what? You know, who gives a fuck? All right, right. we kind of, cause we count up the cost, man. Right. We we understand right. that it, it it's simple. You know, it could be right. overwhelming and everything like that, but at the end, we know that it's worth it. Right. Okay, cause everything, every, this but this uh this light affliction or. You know, this burden that the Lord put on, it's, it's light, man. It, it's simple. It's a simple thing to do, right? right? It's simple to just, you know, like it's, I'm going to just read it real quick. Isaiah uh, 35 and 16, it says, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. It's, it's simple to read, it's man. 35 or 34? Uh, 34. Okay. Isaiah God. 34 and 16, it says, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. Right. None of these shall fail. And the prophecies, man, the prophecies are simple, man. Once you line it up with the scriptures and, and you see it, when you got that vision, it's it's simple to understand that, look, okay, I know the times that we're in. How do I need to move, you know? Right. It, it, it's simple, right? right. How it's, do y'all know those the chariots of the Heavenly Father? How do y'all, how do you know that? It says, seek thee out the <laughs> book and read, man. Right, it's in right. all, everything that you need right. to know in this lifetime or, right. or, or the past lives or, or the... You know, the history, any it's all in here, man. But Jake don't believe this is a historical book. Mm -hmm. right? Jake thinks think it's a mythological book. Okay. Come. Why? Because you believe everything your oppressor tells you, man. Yeah. All right. Your oppressor was not he will not tell you the truth, right? Okay? And we don't trust in our oppressor, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the truth wasn't given to everybody, man. Yeah. All right? Because you how about Shah Sha is only saving a remnant. Okay? And the rest of you, uh, 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 Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native American Indians, you're gonna have to be uh, uh, <laughs> Elder Mark will call them, they can call them nutsack. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna be born again in the kingdom, man. All yeah. right, and Lord willing, we uh, we partake in that thousand years when your house shot come back and ran over the earth, man. It's set back order, man. All right, but I want to grab one real quick. Okay, come this is uh, Proverbs 23 and 9 it says, Speak not in the ears of a fool, right. Mm. For he will despise the wisdom of thy words, man. All mm -hmm. right, our people don't want to hear the truth. It tells you, uh, can you get that? Uh, uh, I think it's Jeremiah 28. All right, I, I get it, I get it. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28. Uh, verse 8, it says, uh, uh uh, damn, no, that's not it. That's not it, Salaki. I think it's Isaiah 30. Uh, damn, what's the scripture? Uh, prophesy not until it's right things. Oh, Isaiah uh, 29. Okay, okay. 
Is that it? Yeah, I believe that's Isaiah 29. Or, uh, yeah, 29. Okay, Isaiah 30, y'all. Oh, yeah, Con, 30 and uh, 30, 10. 10, Con, yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. All right? It says that this is, uh, well, I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, now go, write it before them in a table, right? This is what the Lord told Isaiah, right? A table means a, 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 a tablet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and note it in a book. Which is a stone, all right? That it may be for the time to come forever and ever, man. Okay, meaning this is, like it said, forever and ever, for a amount of a period of time, man. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It said the law, right? Okay, uh, why did it say the law? Okay, because the law is the ways of life, all right? Mm -hmm. Our people don't want to hear that. Okay, they don't want to hear the, you know, they'll hear Esau, Edom's laws. Okay, this man has over thousands of laws. But the Heavenly Father has only, what, uh, 613, okay? Uh, and they're all, what the scripture say, they're not grievous, okay? Not grievous. Right, they're not grievous. It's not hard to not get a line up, okay? It's not hard to grow a beard on your face. It's okay not to keep hair, it, you know, it's okay to keep hair on your head, Okay. Uh, simple, simple things, man. man. Not to smoke weed. Right, right. Not to defile your temple, okay? Not to uh be right. a pimp, a drug dealer, have right? Have sex on the Sabbath. Right, have sex on the Shabbat, all right? But we, go, we you know, we ain't gonna deal with those. <laughs> <brothers>. <laughs> you know, because the Israelites that know the truth and, and, and don't, you know, and misuse the Heavenly Father and, and don't have the correct understanding and continue to go off, they're more wicked than you two-thirds, man. All right? And, uh, some of you Israelites that know the truth are going to be destroyed as well, man. All right? It says, verse 10, which say to the seers, and the seers are the prophets, okay? It says, see not, and to the prophets prophesy not unto, not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. And that's what our people want to hear. They want to hear lies, man. They don't want to hear that America, Babylon, the great is going to be destroyed. Why? Because they think they think they're gonna reach generational wealth, man. All right. How you gonna reach generational wealth when you working a nine to five, man? All right. Make that make fucking sense, man. Okay. You people are chasing after vanity, man. You see, you well, you don't see, man. All right. You can't even, you know, the spirit of truth ain't dealing with you, man. All right. Come on, I got something. Go ahead. This second Edgers chapter seven and verse twenty one. It says. So lucky. Like, hold it. Let me finish this. It's the water. It says. Uh, I'm going to start at 10 again. It says, Which say to the seers, See not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto the right things, speak unto the smooth things, prophesy deceit. Get ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they don't want to hear it, man. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. This is 2nd Edger 7 and verse 21, and it reads, For the Heavenly Father have given straight commandment right. to such as came what they should do to live, right? Because keeping the law, statute, and commandments, and keeping the faith, man, that's the way of life, man. Okay, that's that's it. And, and anything outside of that is is, is the way of, of death. Okay, and and we chose to live. The Lord said, choose a uh, life. All right. It says, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Right. Romans six and twenty three. The wages of sins is death, man. So you are gonna get punished. You are gonna receive that judgment. You know. For, for for blatantly, you know, sinning over and over again without, you know, repentance. It says, verse 22, Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and, ima and imagined vain things, right? Because in the book of Samuel, uh, when Saul, you know, he, he went off because he was supposed to wait upon the Lord, right, for, uh, for I think it was, uh, who was it? Uh, what was that prophet's name? I can't think of his name. Uh, Samuel, was it? Samuel? It was Samuel. He was supposed to, Saul was supposed to wait on Samuel, but instead oh, right, 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 he yeah. ended up, uh, you know, right. making a sacrifice. Right. And the Lord said, uh, "Don't I want uh, obedience rather than sacrifice?" Okay. So I'm gonna read this again. Second Edger seven and twenty two. It says, "Nevertheless, 
they were not obedient unto him, right? Because the Lord requires obedience. Man. All you have to do is be obedient to the Lord, and, and you should be fine. It says, but spake against him and imagined vain things, all right? And these vain things that they imagine, man, is, is, is wickedness, man. You know, they imagine uh, how many, you know, oh, men's women they can have sex with, you right. know, how much weed they can smoke in a day. How long can I be a mo? Why yeah. can't I be a mo? What's wrong with that, right? It says, uh, verse 23, it says, and deceive themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the most high that he is not and knew not his ways. So they won't even confess the Lord's name, that his name is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad, man. They won't confess that he came and, you know, he, he died on that cross for us, you know, for us to get this truth and understand it, right? right? They, won't, they won't, you know, confess who the true Lord is, man. They believe in a white man. They try to say he ain't real or they try to blame it on the universe. Say, yeah, I believe in the universe. Right. And okay. then, you know, once you once you get even deeper into it, they think this, you know, the so-called self-proclaimed white man was, is the creator of all things. You know, they think he was the first one to, uh, make vehicles, you know, so that he can fly. Where did he get that from? He got that from Yahweh Shah, man. Will Yahweh Shah fly? The scriptures talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know, it wasn't Yahweh Shah, uh, you know, they got this thing called, you know, they're making fake meats, 3D meats. Mm. What did Yahweh Shah do? Right? Uh, did he uh, take the 12 loaves, what, and the seven, what was it, seven fishes and 12 loaves? Uh, and what did he do? He prayed to the Heavenly Father and he fed a thousand five thousand people. Man. Oh yeah, it was uh it was two loaves, five fishes to uh make seven, the completion of seven. Right, right. So uh where do you think Esau Edom got that from? Three D meats, he got that from Yahweh Bashanel was shot, man. Alright, it's just a carnal way of doing it, alright? Uh, uh even uh you know, so called doctors, okay? What did Yahweh Shah do? He was healing people on the, when he came on the scene, man. Alright? This man is nothing but a uh, scripture called him a counterfeit, man. All right? But our people trust in them, okay? And, uh, it's like it. But you know, you tell Jake, take the herbs, you know, take these herbs, and what he gonna do? He go to Esau, eat them, mm -hmm. he go get, uh, uh, you know, some man drug. made, yeah, man made shit, okay? Go straight to the pharmacy, the right. pharmacy. <laughs> right, right. Which is nothing but witchcraft, okay? And, uh, that's how much Jake. You know, he depends on Esau Edom, man. And that's why uh, the Lord ain't going to protect you, man, because you're not dealing the truth. You understand this man's background, right? You know, he has a plot to destroy all Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native American Indians, but you still trust in him, okay? So the, the truth is not dwelling in you uh, two-thirds, man. Okay, and this is why you have to be born again in the kingdom. You have to die of pestilence, famine, sword, uh, and, and thermonuclear fire, man. All right? This is written, all right? Uh, I got one. This is uh, the book of Sirach 22 and verse 13. It says, Talk not much with the fool, and go not to him that hath no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries, man. So when we talk to you niggas, uh, we're, be we're really being defiled, man. All right, because, uh, like it says, it, uh, you know, I'm going to go back to it. Okay, I'm going to go back to it. This is the book of, uh, 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 Proverbs 14 and 7. It says, go from the presence of a foolish man without perceiving it's not in him the lips of knowledge man so uh, these, these, this is commandments and these is why, this is why it's counsel we're not even supposed to be talking to you for real okay we can give you you know Lord might have us show you mercy mm -hmm. okay uh, give you a little bit of knowledge alright but you really don't take the knowledge okay we tell you to invest in silver because that's real money and you, you scoff at it okay you know what well, you gonna say y'all I was gonna say it's really the reason why we saying it is because uh, it's just for you to just know, like, the Lord is not going, you know, make no excuse of why you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's said everything is done and everything is said for a reason. Right. Okay, so the Lord can use that against you and, and punish your ass for it. Right, right. I'm going to read it for the top again. It says, talk not much with the fool and go not to him that have no understanding. 
a word of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. And that's the point. What is heavier than lead? And what is the name thereof but a fool, man? Mm. It says, sand and salt and a mass of iron is easier to bear than a man without understanding, man. All right? So it's better to even, you know, you know, uh, stay away from two-thirds, man. Okay, especially in these times, okay? They're still st celebrating birthdays. And, uh, uh, Jake is, uh, Jake is, uh, uh, you know, Jake is gone, man. Okay, they had a... Uh, the brother had uploaded a video on Jersey. Okay, uh, it was like a a flash mob of uh, Negroes, man. All right, and you know when Jake gets around a lot of people, okay, they don't know how to fucking act, man. They're like wild animals, man. Okay, and then when somebody gets gunned down by Esau, Edom, uh, uh, you know they want to cause a riot. But Jake has no fucking order, man. Okay, Jake has no order. Why? Because he isn't abiding by the scriptures, man. Scriptures is a way of life. Can you get that uh, Baruch four and one? Okay. All right, because this is a uh, uh, this this leads to salvation, man. These this leads to getting right with the heavenly Father, his only begotten Son. Okay. This is Baruch four, and verse one. This is the book of the commandments. The God. book of the commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's not dealing with religion. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you love me, keep my commandments. Exactly. This book deals with commandments, okay? Now I want to look up that word commandments in the Edomon. Okay, you can read it. It says, Baruch 4 and 1, this is the book of commandments of God and the law. His name is Yahweh. Come. Okay. Yahweh. Yahweh by Shem Shah. And the law that endureth forever. The law that endureth forever, okay? Esau, Edom's laws just came into existence, what, around uh, 1700s? Okay, yeah. 1776. Come okay, 1748. Right. This is 48. Okay, this law was established way before then. Okay, mm -hmm. this is from the foundations of the earth. It said forever. Okay, okay read that again, Bible Shah. It says Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of commandments of Yahweh and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. Right. But such as leave it shall die. Right. Uh, it says, uh, Proverbs 21 and 16, okay? Uh, you know, Proverbs 21 and 16. All right. He that leadeth the uh, Damn, let me just get it. I didn't grab it for you. Okay, come. Proverbs 21 and 16. Yeah, Proverbs 21 and 16. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding. Which is what? The laws and the commandments, right? This is the this is life, okay? Keep going. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Which means you are you're gone, okay? Okay, the Lord, you're you're really a a heathen, man. Okay, you're a heathen. You're gonna suffer the same judgment as the heathens. And the ultimate heathen is Esau Edom, man. Are right, you gonna suffer that same judgment as your uh, your slave master, man? Now I got this word commandment in the Edomon. It says an order from an authority. Okay, and who was that authority? Yahweh by Hashem, I was shy, man. Okay, this says any one of the ten injunctions great engraved upon stone, and we know it's more than, you know, more than that. But it says an order from authority, man. Okay, so this is an order. Okay, this book, it, this commandment means order, man. All right, and, uh, you niggas, you niggas have no order, man. Okay, uh, you don't even follow Esau Edom's laws, man. All right, showing you that you're a wild beast, man. Okay, this is why the Heavenly Father is going to unleash, uh, uh, he's going to uh, uh, let Esau, you know, unleash his wrath on you two-thirds, man. Because what the scriptures say, uh, okay, this is Isaiah. You got something up? Yeah, kind of. Okay. I was going to uh, back you up on a, uh, a quick little point. It's like how, how our people in, in these other nations, man, they uh, they look at the laws and the commandments that we got, man, and they, you know, they, they, they get scared of it, man. Right. Because they think that, like, you know, it's so wrong to put a mo to death, you know, because he being a mo, or, right. or for our people that want to, you know, you know, the things that was going on, and he got us wrong, you know, for us, you know, to grow out a beard and do the things that's written in these commandments. Boy, you look rough. I like, I like my man uh, clean cut. 
Okay, yeah. well, I'll go get you a, a, a heterosexual. Uh, what is not a hetero? A uh, metrosexual. Metrosexual, right? Kind of. Right? Somebody who cares about how they look. Okay, as long as we cleaned up. Mm-hmm. You know, people say we look homeless. Okay, that's cool. But are we going to see who really look homeless when Jacob's trouble hit? Yeah, because y'all ain't buying your nails done. You ain't got no hair because you ain't going to have none of that. Right. And we're able to be able to groom and, and do all those good good different things. So when y'all see us in Jacob's trouble, man, we're going to like precious gold to y'all, man. Right, right, right. You, know, it, 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 you niggas who don't have beards, man, you niggas is, uh, you niggas, uh, through. You niggas look like women, man. Uh-huh. Right? I get, when I see a man with no beard on his face, I ultimately think he's a, a transformer, man. Con, this is uh, Proverbs 21 and 15, just going on the point that I was trying to make. It says, It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity, right? So reading in the NLT, it says, Justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. So when judgment is being you know, handed out, you know, everybody's getting put to death, you know, for their wicked deeds, you know, the men of the Lord, we like, man, call a lion, man, because right. that damn mother needs to be put to death. Right. But then you got other people, oh, well, he's a good person, and he, he was a great man, you know, he was nice, uh, he was a nice neighbor, and things of that nature, but in the meantime, the man was wicked as hell. Right, well, and when they say, say stuff like that, what, go from the presence of a foolish man, because they don't have the truth. The Lord said, uh, you know, the Lord said, uh, whoever perish be an innocent. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or where were the righteous cut off? Okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody has committed sin. Okay. You think it's a perfect man in this world? No, mm-hmm. man. Okay. Even babies who get judged, okay, uh, at one month old, two days old, that's an ordained. Okay. And we don't, you know, we don't uh, uh, feel no type of way about it, man. Because he, how I said, he said, uh, there's nothing but, there's nothing good but, uh, but the father. Right, right. Why well, calls me thou good? Right. Yeah, come, come, come. But ultimately, our people, uh, uh, you know, this is what the covenant our people have made. Okay, our people have made a covenant with death. Right. This is Isaiah twenty-eight, verse fifteen. It says, uh, "Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death." Right. Which is what everything that's. Uh, Heavenly Father tells you not to do, okay, you do it, that's death, okay. It says, and with hell, are we at agreement? Okay, you're at a, uh, hell is a condition, okay. You are at an agreement with being at the bottom of society, man. Yeah, right? Y'all yeah, comfortable with it. Yeah, man. Comfortable, man. Okay, but East, the Lord is about to put the spirit on Esau Edom to uh, put bring in hyperinflation. What you niggas gonna do at that point? Okay, you niggas who bragging about you getting money. Okay, when gas hits, what you make per hour, what are you going to do, man? Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, what God you going to call on? Okay, it says, it says, when the overflowing skirts shall pass through, it shall, well, I'm going to read it again. It says, because Isaiah 28 and 15, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement. When the overscoring, overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves, man. Right? And that's our people, man. They're under uh, lies and uh, uh, falsehoods, man. All right? Which is, uh, uh, you know, do it that do us thou wilt spirit, okay? Do whatever you want to do. YOLO, right? That's the spirit of our, that our people are in. But at the same time, what do they say? Oh, thank God. Mm-hmm. They got Bible scriptures posted in their IG uh, bio, biographies, right? Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, uh, uh, you know, it's mostly women, okay, that got these uh, uh, these scriptures in their bios. And then when you go through their pictures, what? You see nothing but bitches twerking, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Showing you that, uh, you know, they have no understanding. They don't have the truth, man. Uh-huh. All right? And they, 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 they it's, it's, it's funny you said that because that's the spirit because I, I got that pulled up. You know, because you're saying that uh, do as I will. And we know that, you know, free will and all that, that that's, that's not true at all, man. Okay, this is Proverbs 16 and 9. It says, a, man, a man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Right? So uh, your heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which is your mind. 
So you can make up your mind and you can make plans to do this and that and the third. But at the end of the day, the Lord directed your steps. So right. if it's not through the Lord's will for you to do something, you're not going to do it. Right. Okay? Right. So at the end of the day, if you if you be in the mode, the Lord wanted you to be in the mode so he can kill your ass. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. You know, if you take that MO, that, that chip, man, that karate, man, that was that was the Lord directing you the steps to take that, man. Because the Lord want, the Lord is through with you, man. Right. All right? Same thing with the pestilence, the famine, you know, all, all this death that's about to come to pass, man. We're going to see who the Lord's chosen is and who not. All right? All right. You got more that's it? Uh, I just got a, a quick one. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 16 and 8. It says, better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. Okay, so a little righteousness, man. I mean, a, you know, return, uh, repentant, man. You know, doing some type of work or keeping some type of faith of, of the Lord, man. Doing something good. You know, not just, you know, blatantly just not caring at all, man. You having a little bit of righteousness instead of trying to be successful in this life, man. That's what revenues go into. You know, you know possessions. You know, you got the real estate, right. everything like that. You got car dealerships. Well, you scripture talk about laid out of your treasures upon earth, but mm -hmm. upon where, where moth and dust you know, corrupts and, and thieves break through, but up in heaven, man. Yeah. Which is how you do that. Okay, you do the work of the heavenly father, okay? You give charity around your brothers, you pay arms, okay? You love your brother as you uh, as you love yourself, man, uh -huh. okay? Uh, what does it say? Are these two laws? Mm -hmm. Okay, the whole law. Mm -hmm. Love your heart with thy power, with all thy heart, and then your brother as yourself, man. Yeah. All right? But you niggas don't, and this is why we don't trust you niggas, man. Okay, because, uh, you know, the Lord has separated us, man. We are holy, man. And we, uh, you know, we are holy, man. We say that boldly, okay? We're, you know, we, we, you know we, we have a holy mindset, all right? Because you niggas have a slave mentality mindset, all right? You don't want to be rulers. You don't want to have slaves, man. You know, you don't want payback. You don't want recompense, man. All right? You, that's, you don't have the truth, man. They just want to pay the bills. They want to have a good career, not knowing damn well that even even Esau see that this place about to go down to destruction, right, man. Right. And y'all right. still trying to, you know, the the flames is, is coming on this damn place, man. Y'all trying to use a fan and, and blow these damn flames out, <laughs> but uh, y'all just making the flames higher and higher, man. Right. Um. So like you had made a point on uh, being bold. Let me think of a scripture. I'm trying to grab this up. And we can't wait till you niggas start being judge, man, because the scoffing has it has to come to a, a stop, man. all right? You know, it has to come to a stop, all right? Uh, this, go ahead. Uh, this is Hebrews 4. I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, seeing then that we have a great high priest right. that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession, right? It says, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. So the Lord, you know, like like the scriptures say, uh, ye have, if ye have persecuted me, he will persecute you also, man. Right. So the same uh, sufferings and the same trials and tribulations, we're taking upon it, you know, what Yahweh Shai went through, man. Right. Yahweh Shai had to go through... You know, uh, being frustrated with these damn two-thirds trying to explain this or uh, going over the par parables and, and repeating himself, you know, to the uh, disciples, man. Because we constantly got to repeat ourselves through these videos and doing them over and over again. How do you think the apostles feel about constantly repeating and going over these breakdowns, man? You don't think they're tired, man? You don't think the apostles are wearing out from this? They're ready to get up out of here, man. So are we. That's why the uh, scriptures talk about uh, the, laborers, the laborers are few. Okay. Read that again. Oh, sure. It says uh, Hebrews four and fifteen. It says, "For we have not an high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, right. yet without sin." Right. The Lord was without sin. The Lord was a perfect man. Okay. That's why Yahweh told him, you know, uh, that's why he sent him down here to go up on that cross, man, because he was the only way that was going to reconcile us, man. To come back to the heavenly Father, all right. This is yes. This man was perfect. Okay, this man was perfect. All right. Uh, everything that the scriptures say about him, okay. Everything that the scriptures say, we believe that man. Why? Because it's speaking. All right. 
his words are speaking, man. He comes in the volume of the whole book, mm -hmm. man. The book is life. The book is life. Right. He is. He said, "I am the truth, the way, and the life." Right. Mm -hmm. Any man come to me. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. This is verse sixteen. This is the point. It says, "Let us therefore come boldly, right, unto the throne of grace." Right, because we are saved by uh, faith and grace, man, and not of our works. Right. It says that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Right, because we're going to need help in, in the time of need, man. When when there's a famine and there's no food on the shelves or in the houses, man, we we're gonna we're gonna pray that the Lord, you know, give us grace and help us through those times, man, with the miracles, right? Because going back in the time of when, when Moses and the nation of Israel was in the wilderness, what happened, man? They had to you know, depend on the Lord, you know, for food, man. Right. It's eating angels, mammon, you know, manna. uh, mammon, salakia. Manna. Uh, manna. Then, uh, the time when, uh, Elijah, when he was in the mountain and, the, uh, the Lord had, uh, brought him food. The time when Daniel was in the lion's den and he was brought food, right? So we're going to have to, you know, believe on these type of miracles, you know, to give us faith so we can come even more boldly, you know, to the throne, man. Because that's all what we want, man. We want that throne. We want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. Right. So, uh, I'm going uh, to get verse 16. This is Isaiah 28 and 16. Okay. Backing up the point. Okay. Because, uh, once again, what did it say? It's a stumbling block to the wicked. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus said... Yahweh power, behold, I lay in Zion uh, for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, right? Mm -hmm. A precious cornerstone, a short foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste, man. All right? And who is that talking about? Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, right? He is that cheap cornerstone. He is that cornerstone, man. He is that stumbling block, okay? This is why, uh, you know, you people don't believe is so called JC because he was a, he's a stumbling block unto you, man. All right, and, uh, you know the Lord the Lord has used Yahweh Shah to be a stumbling block unto two thirds of our people. Okay, because uh, two thirds of our people are gone. Okay, Isaiah the first chapter goes into it. Okay, but uh, I want to get it cut, get this to close out. Okay. What you got? Uh. What did you read again, Salakia? Isaiah 28, uh, 16. Uh, this is Isaiah 8 and uh, 14. It says, And he shall be for a sanctuary, right. for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of offense to both the house of Israel, for a for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Right, and Jerusalem is a people of full place. Okay, and I represent you. Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native American Indians, man. So, you know, Yahweh Shah is a stumbling block, man. Come. Okay, which means a, a, a you know, a, a hindrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, 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 what is that? Uh, 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 what is that? An uh, object in the way of your, uh, you know, in the way of your, in your pathway, man. Okay, to your so called success, man. Mm -hmm. All right. This man is about to do away with all your, you, you know, your American dream that you, you, you idiots believe in, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You got more? Uh, come. Verse 15, it says, And many among them, many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and taken. Right. Come. Right. So you, you're going you're gonna to fall, man. You, you're going to be broken down and you're going to be snared, man. Because the Lord said the deceiver and the deceiver are his, man. So y'all going to be, you know, caught up in, you know, Muslim, you know, caught up in this Christianity, man, and caught up in these lies and, and these deceits, you know, that these pastors, you know, teach y'all, man. Y'all going to be caught up in that. Why? Because y'all despise, you know, the law, statute, and commandments of the Lord, man. So the Lord got away, you know, a path for y'all to go, man. All right. This is uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of power. Mm. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. You can do it to it. Khan, sons of power, man. Yashar Allah, man. He prince of power, right? Okay. Romans 8 and uh, Romans the 8th chapter goes into how uh, Romans 8 and 16 says, uh, 
the spirit bear witness that we are the children of the heavenly father, right? Right, right? So at the end of the day, if we, you know, I'm going to just get it real quick so I can. So we can begin. It says 1 John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father, whose name is Jehovah, have bestowed upon us that we shall be called the sons of power. <coughs> Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Okay? The world doesn't know Yahweh Mashiach Yahweh right? Uh -huh. right? And, that, and that love, you know, the love that he bestowed upon us was is that he, he died for us, man. Right. Because uh, the scriptures talk about what man has laid his life for his friend. If I can add on that, you know, uh, the love that he also bestowed upon us is uh, a reconciling us back. Con, that, him, that, goes, that goes, that's the spirit. This is uh, Romans 8 and 15. It says, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, right? And that goes into that reconciliation, man. It says, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Right, because if it wasn't for the Lord, we wouldn't be reconciled back into this truth, man. Because reconciled means to be brought back. Right. Okay, so we were brought back into something we once knew. All right, right, right. We we're coming back into that foreknowledge. Right. All right. right. It right. says the spirit of uh, verse sixteen. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. Right, the children of God. All right. When you go into that word children in, in the Hebrew, is is bond, which means son. Okay. So we are the sons of Israel, man. The sons of power, right? Right. right. And Yahweh Shai is our big brother. Right, right. Come. Verse 17, it says, And if children, then heirs. Right. Heirs of God, right? Yahweh. And it says, And joint heirs with Hamashiach. And so that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Right. So the Lord, he went through his suffering. All right, the Lord went through his trials and tribulations. He had to take up his cross. So what are we doing? We're taking up our cross now on this side, right? So when it's time for the kingdom to come, right, we're, we're going to glory with him. And we're going to receive that crown. We want to hear the words, oh, thou faithful servant, right? right, right. You have finished. Right, you have strived for the truth unto death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? That's what, that's what we're doing, okay? This is the truth, man. Like the elder said in uh, Chicago, he said, uh, we got the truth, you know. We got the truth, man. This whole world is full of lies, man. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna read this again. First John three and one. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we shall be called the sons of power. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. Mm -hmm. Beloved, now are we the sons of power, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. Mm -hmm. But we know that. When he shall appear, and that's talking about Yahweh Shah, right? Come, could you read that again, Yahweh Shah? It says, Beloved, no, now are we the sons of power, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. Come, because it has not appeared what we shall be. Our bodies have not come yet, all right? right. We ain't been, you know, put into those new bodies. We ain't received that right. spiritual power yet, man. We're still stuck in this flesh, man, this vile body, which is death, right. all right? right? Apostle Paul said we die de he died daily, man. Right. So we already know what death is, man. All right? And, and that's why we, you know, we're growing in the spirit. And that's why we use these scriptures to grow in the spirit. So what? We can conquer the death like Yahweh Shai did. It says, uh, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Mm. For we shall see him as he is. Uh. It says that every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself. Even as he is pure, man, like the brother said, okay, we're going to have to go through that persecution, okay. which is coming to pass, man, okay? We go, uh, and this is nothing but purifying us, man, all these trials and tribulations that we go through, uh, dealing with you two-thirds and you people who have not the truth. This is nothing but purifying us, man, because we know that we have the truth, man, okay? Uh, because uh, 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 back to what you were saying, um... In the scripture, uh, in Isaiah uh, forty-seven, it says that uh, the uh, Lord He would we would not meet thee as a man. He would not meet thee as a man. Yeah, Isaiah forty-seven. Yeah, God, yeah. so He not coming back as no regular man. He coming as this 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 powerful and angelic body, man. Right. And we're we, hoping to receive that. Yeah, yeah. And it sound like a, a, a sound like a comic book, but the Lord, this 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 thing that we're reading out of the Holy Bible, 
you know, it's a movie that we're playing a part in, okay? You niggas are playing your part as well, man. All right? Now I'm going to jump down to uh, seven. It says, little children, let no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, mm -hmm. even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil. <laughs> For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of <coughs> the son of power was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. God, because <coughs> what did the what did the devil <coughs> do, man? What did Cain do? Huh? Right. He killed his brother. Right. And that's, he lied. Right. And that's what two thirds of you people, you Negroes, Latinos, say what don't even do idiots. This is what you're doing to the prophets, man. The Lord's gonna come back and destroy you, niggas, man. Okay, whether you're here for a beer, that's the truth. We're gonna close out with that, man. All right, Con. Lord willing, this is edifying. <coughs> close out. Con, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, man. Uh, we pray that you know that you brothers repent. You know, if you are listening and tuning in, you know, to these lessons, man. You know, we have you know a short time, man. So. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ha HaGadash, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect, man, right, right. scattered across the four corners of the planet Earth, man. You know, Kwam Yasharala, man, which means rise Israel, man. Yeah, come, come, come. You know, and above all, man. Above all. Destroy Babylon, man.